Uh, we, we might just be in the start of summer here, but there's something at the back of every parent's mind right now, and that will be the question of whether the kids go back to school in the fall and what might that look like because a lot of schools are still trying to sort that all out. Yes, yeah, so we are getting some more detailed plans from school districts about what that could look like, Cheryl. So Clayton County Schools just released their plan, which say they can be adjusted based on COVID numbers in the state come fall. So mm. the one they are planning on right now is what they call the moderate risk scenario. It includes an A day, B day plan. So kids alternate days in the classroom and Friday is going to be a virtual learning day across the board. There are some other goals they have to accomplish this, like spacing out desks, staggering student arrival times, and even making sure everyone has a Chromebook for virtual learning days. You know, Aisha, it's so interesting because school districts in the state are working hard to figure this out, but there's so many unknowns. It's just very hard for them to put specific pieces in place. The governor actually just announced an initiative to help schools get some data on how many students and teachers have reliable internet connection because a lot of these models include some kind of virtual learning, even if it's only part time. And I remember talking to the superintendent of Clayton County who said that they were getting some information that, you know, about half of their kids could only connect on a regular basis and they had to figure out a better way to make sure that all kids, no matter their zip code, have the same access to learn. And you really want to level the playing field at all costs because this is so non-traditional that you don't want to put anyone at an unfair disadvantage if you have to do this because it's no one's fault, right? right? We want to keep everyone safe, but we also want to keep everyone learning yeah. at the same pace. So we're going to keep watching it to see how it all unfolds.